Our next guest, new piece in The Atlantic, probes the question why Congress keeps failing to protect kids online. It's an excellent question, and he's got some pretty good answers. We want to welcome Columbia Law School professor Tim Wu. He served in as, a, as an advisor to the Biden administration on technology and competition policy. And, and Tim, we've had this conversation again yeah. and again about how there are some things that just seem so obvious that nobody from either party should ever oppose this. It should be promoted. It should be put forward. Protecting kids online seems pretty simple and straightforward. What's been happening? You know, it is an extraordinary level of failure, in my view. You have 90 percent of parents, 70 percent of Americans want stronger protection for kids. Congress cannot seem to manage to pass the bills. There has been in 10 years not a single vote in the House or Senate. The reasons, they're almost impossible to explain to outsiders. Last year, people really wanted the big privacy bill, and they held children's bills hostage to the privacy bill. But it is just fundamentally dysfunction. They cannot or don't seem able to do what the American people want. Meaning they were holding the children's issue that everybody agrees on hostage by tying it up to a privacy bill that would be for all Americans, adults and beyond. Yes. Not allowing the good things to get through because they have their own agendas that they tie to these things. Yes, that's right. People wanted to pass a comprehensive bill. I agree with that. That would have been a great idea by about September. It was clear it was not going to happen. Nobody would let it go. People were angry. There were paybacks. Ultimately, we did, in fact, get a children's protection bill into the final omnibus. The last stage, Mitch McConnell, majority leader, just axed it, no particular reason, presumably to avoid giving Democrats the win. It's at this level of just sort of political maneuvering that Congress cannot, is not doing what people want. I don't want. see why anybody sees this as a Democrat or a Republican issue. This is about saving children from online pornography. You yourself, when you were in the White House, said the saddest meetings you ever had were with who? Yeah, with uh, parents whose children had died from suicide or uh, very bad um, bullying and uh, TikTok experiments gone wrong. I, it, was, it was heartbreaking. And the parents come in and they're like, why can you do something, anything? I said, we're going to try. And then at the end of the year, it was like, we failed again. One of the interesting parts was just how interest groups get involved in this, too. I think you said that at one point, this privacy protection got to the point where they had two groups that came in. Uh, it would give parents more control over what their children do. And, and what happened? These two groups got in a fight over transgender issues, which is crazy, too. Yeah, that's right. Somehow it got linked into the culture war. Because the idea is, obviously, you're going to have more oversight. Parents have more oversight over their children. Uh, maybe there'll be different sort of types of content that the sites need to be much more careful about surfacing. They were limited to things like uh, suicide, addiction, um, you know, other... Uh, eating disorder content, but it got activated everybody on the, on the far left and the further right saying these are civil rights issues and, you know, uh, it's going to block vulnerable youth from getting content they want. I would say very small chance of that happening, um, but it turned into a culture war and, and people were not able to move it. I mean, this is such a shame because even when you talk to people in the industry, they think the government needs to do more. You, you quoted one person who spoke to you, I guess, on background or off the record, not without giving her identity, yeah. who works for industry, who said, the U.S. government doesn't actually force us to do anything. Sure, Congress calls us in to yell at us every so often, but there's no follow-up. She went on to say, what you need to do is actually get on our backs and force us to spend money to protect children online. We could do more, but without pressure, we won't. Yes. It's very clear, if pressured, the industry would do more to protect children, and I believe lives would be saved. There is a spectacle, a theater, where there's yelling at tech executives. No follow-up. That's where we are at this stage, and we are failing Americans, parents, and children. What do you think the cost would be? I mean, I can't put it in dollars. I mean, I think this is about children's lives. No, no, I know. Yeah. I'm, just, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to understand why these companies have not stepped up on their own. You know, right? and, and invariably, I, I go straight to the money, mm -hmm. and I think to myself that somebody sitting around saying to do this would cost us X dollars. I'm not saying it shouldn't be yes. spent. I'm saying it should be spent. Yes, right. I'm trying to just understand the economics of it yeah. so that we can decide that this is actually a valuable and worthy thing to do. And maybe the answer is it's worthy to do irrespective of the cost. But the point is, what is it so that people know? Yeah, I mean, I don't have a, a right. number, but obviously it's more than zero. You have to hire a lot more people. It's not fun, exciting work to be trying to, you know, make sure this happens. People, are, engineers are excited about building the next algorithm or right. AI. Like, they have to hire people. They do have a lot of people, but they don't have, you know, staff to call. Well, it, like, boring people to call who you need to... 
You know, by, got a problem? By yeah. the way, if you do it and your peers don't, then your numbers go down in terms of your potential revenue, your growth outlook, and Wall Street punishes you too. That's why it should be done on an industry-wide level. Some of the sites also see children, teenagers as target markets. Right. So you know they're losing. We don't let cigarette companies customers. do that. Yeah.